pieces about circling terms and order of operations. So first we need to define what a numerical term is. And a numerical term is a single number, a variable, or a product of numbers or variables. Um, so some examples, we could say that the number 4 is a single number, which would also be a numerical term just on its own. We could say uh, 512 is a numerical term. We could say x is a numerical term, or 3x because it is a product of numbers and variables. We could say that 4 times 1 plus 2, with the 1 plus 2 in parentheses, um, that would be a numerical term. We could say 1 half times b is a numerical term because it is a product of numbers or variables. We could also say that negative 6 times 2 is a numerical term. So any positive negative we could put some decimals in there 3.25 would be a numerical term. Um, so let's try doing something we called in order something we called circling terms in order of operations. So we want to circle all of the terms. I also want to point out um, something that I think is missing from this definition because it is part of circling terms. Um, could be also product or the quotient, which is the answer when we divide. So division could also be included. So we could say 6 divided by 2 would also be part of a numerical term. Notice that we don't have any addition or subtraction unless it is inside parentheses. We could also say that 3 squared. So exponents also are part of our numerical terms. So let's practice circling the terms. So for this one, um, all of this is a numerical term because it is inside parentheses. We have some addition, we have some division. So inside of that term, we will have to apply order of operations as well. We have 56 divided by 7. So really the only thing that's outside is going to be addition or subtraction. As long if it's not in outside or if it's not inside parentheses, addition and subtraction will never be circled as part of a term. So I have two different terms here. So I have two different numbers that I'm going to be adding together at the end. I say adding because this term right here is addition. So inside this first term, I have 70 plus 90 divided by 9. Well, according to order of operations, division comes before addition. So I need to do this 90 divided by 9 first, and that would be 10. So then it would really be 7 plus 10, which is 17. So now I'm going to stop with that one. I'm going to go on to my next term. I need to do this first. So 56 divided by 7 is 8. There's nothing else I need to do with that. So this becomes 17 plus 8. Now I go from left to right. This would be 25. So my final answer to this one is 25. I circled my terms. I did the operations inside each term, and I added or subtracted left. Here is another example. So, what I like to do for circling terms is find any addition or subtraction that is not inside parentheses. And that kind of helps me determine where my terms are. So 10 on its own, because it's not being multiplied or divided by anything. 7 on its own. 8 to the third power and then this whole thing right here in parentheses. So I have one, two, three, four circles, and between each of those circles, I'm going to be adding, because there's all addition signs there, 
I'm not going to do anything with that 10. I'm not going to do anything with the 7. Um, 8 to the power of 3. That's really 8 times 8 times 8. And that is 512. And then I have this last term right here. Again, I have addition and division. 50 divided by 10 is 5. 10 plus 5 is 15. Now I go from left to right. 10 plus 7, 17. 17 plus 512 plus 15. I'm working my way from left to right. 17 plus 515 would be 500. 32, 532 plus 15 would be 547. And my last example. Uh, okay, so addition and subtraction, not in parentheses. I have one there and I have a subtraction there. So I'm going to have seven circled on its own. I'm going to circle everything in between those two addition and subtractions that I highlighted and then the 9 on its own. So I have three terms. I'm going to add between those two and subtract between those two, just bringing those straight down. So 7 isn't going to change. This 9 isn't going to change, but this middle, it's got a lot of pieces to this term. So, I see exponents, I see parentheses. I need to do my parentheses first. So this becomes 9 minus 6, which is 3. So it becomes 5 plus 3 squared. I need to do 3 squared first. So this is really 3 times 3, which is 9. 5 plus 9 is 14. So this is 7 plus 14 minus 9. I need to go from left to right. 7 plus 14 is 21. 21 minus 9 is 12. That looks like negative 12. Let me fix that. There we go. So that's an example of order of operations and how we circle terms.